Good evening, everybody. Is everybody ready for some cosplay runway? Oh, come on, I need one more time. Did we get that on camera? All right, so I am going to introduce to you today Wonder Woman, who is going to be your MC for the evening. I am just lowly Doctor Strange. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, everybody. I'm so glad you're here. I am, I'm, I'm actually Wonder Gwen. That's why I left my blonde hair out. Uh, come to the talks tomorrow, and you'll find out why I'm empowered in my Wonder Woman outfit, but I don't wear the black wig. Um, anyway, we are. I'm so happy you guys are all here. I'm so happy we have so many people dressed up. Are you guys ready for some fun? Are you ready to, to really have a lot of fun and see everyone dressed up so great? All right. Well, let's just get this started. And I want to hear some loud clapping with everyone, but I'm also going to ask each one a question before they uh, walk down the runway so we get to know them, OK? Is our music still up? Yep. All right, let's start with number one. Come on in. <laughs> Woo! So what's your name? Victoria Tomes. And what are you dressed as? Arwen Undermill from uh, The Lord of the Rings. And why did you pick this outfit? Because I love The Lord of the Rings. Nice. <laughs> Go ahead and walk your runway. Can I have the next one out? Yeah. She's working it. What a beautiful gown. Did you make it? Um, she did not make it. That's okay. It looks beautiful. One more round of applause for Victoria. All right, contestant number two. What's your name? Tanjiro. Tanjiro, what is your outfit? Is that your outfit? Yeah. Okay. That, I was mm -hmm. like, wow, that's a really cool name. <laughs> What's your real name? Hadley Sparrow. Okay, but you want to be called? Tanjiro. Okay. <laughs> Why'd you pick this outfit, huh? I love Demon Slayer the anime. Nice. Very well. So here's your runway. Let's show it. Strut your stuff. Why'd you pick this outfit? Um, because one, I love fairies, and also I just one of my obsessions in many life uh, is mushrooms. Mushroom. So I thought to kind of combine it. Nice, I love it. Did you make it? Um, slightly, but my mom helped me with it. Thanks, mom. All right, <laughs> walk your runway and show off your outfit. <laughs> oh, we lost one. <laughs> You can come back down this way, sweetie. <laughs> nice job. Come on over. And what is your name? Kaden. Kaden, and you are dressed as? Link. Link, and why did you pick Link? It's a favorite character of mine, and I had him costume for it already. I just kind of upgrade Convenience, uh, right? Yeah. And you wanted to own this. So why don't you own your runway and show everyone else your awesome content, costume. Yeah. 
Ooh, he's got the sword, he's got the cape. I don't know, people, this looks like a really good costume. Ooh, he's got some moves, too, I like it. Our next fashion icon on our runway, what's your name? Uh, Andy. Andy, and you're dressed as? Corlo from Hunter Hunter. Nice, very nice. What made you pick that? Uh, I'm a big fan of Hunter Hunter. Hunter Hunter, big fan? Walk your runway, show your stuff. All right! down this way it's all right <laughs> he's making his own path that's what we do here we work our own all right uh, we now have Sadie Mae and Jacob Sadie Mae and Jacob and what are you guys dressed as well um, I just put a lot of random things into my costume and you're allowed to that's cool and you, you made it yes awesome and what about you um Itachi oh Itachi very cool what made you pick that it's a cool character. It's a cool character. Do you guys feel empowered when you dress like that? Yes, ma'am. All right. She feels empowered. Show them your empowerment and walk that runway. Yeah! Look at the beautiful sash and the coat that she's wearing. He's got a wonderful uh, applique, red applique on the back of his. It's beautiful. They are strutting it. Let's hear it for them, gang. Ooh, and they're acting. We got, you know, that earns points, people. If you're play acting as part of your role, that earns points. Ooh. What's your name? Marley. Marley, and you're dressed as? Toku Fukawa from Don and Rampa. Wow, what you made you pick that? She's a really relatable character. Yeah, and you like uh, following and, and do you do different things with the outfit or is it always the same? It's usually always the same, but sometimes I like to add a little sparkle. Ooh, we like a little sparkle. Show off your sparkle! I see lots of sparkle. There's magical sparkle going on here. make people guess what you are. <laughs> what is your name, young man? I am John Christensen. <laughs> and you are dressed as? Jack Burton from Big Trouble in Little China. <laughs> <laughs> Way to rock the roll. Are you ready to rock and roll? I thought I was going to make a speech. Oh, right? well, Why I chose this costume. Uh, go ahead. I chose this costume because it was a challenge. What Jack Burton does when he's facing a challenge, where the earth shakes, the poison arrows fall from the sky and the pillars of hell that shake. He looks that challenge right in the eye and says, bring it on. Yeah! And truckers are awesome. <laughs> yeah! That was pretty cool. Got some fans over here. Oh, All right, and by, yeah, right? <laughs> just buzz right by. That's he's in character. He's I see character. that. Yeah, he's on it, man. All right, and your name? Travis Gayhart, but today you can call me Steve Rogers. Steve Rogers, here he is, everyone. He graces with his presence today. I'm very happy to see you. What made you pick this costume? Well, I heard my friend Stephen was here, and I came to support him. And well, not that he really needs help, but I'm here anyway. Nice. 
And he's everything I want to be as a man. Oh, wow. That's incredible. Work that runway then, Captain America. runway work, sir. Nice runway work. Thank you, ma'am. You're very welcome. All right, now, from the Dark Crystal, right? Yes. <laughs> As a kid, actually, that movie kind of scared me. Um, me too. And, yeah, me too. <laughs> What's your name? Jacob. Jacob, and you are dressed as? Chamberlain from the Dark Crystal. All right, that is just so cool. Can we give a round of applause for the work into this costume, people? You don't have to go all the way down because I know you're having trouble walking, so get as far as you'd like to go. Yes, the, does anybody, raise a hand, did Dark Crystal freak anybody else out? <laughs> It was such a good movie, but woo! It was a little crazy, a little scary. Nice catwalk. He's he's owning it. He's owning it. Very cool. If you want to go that way, there you go. <laughs> Let's hear it, Culpepper. We got another amazing costume here. What's your name? Lee. And you are dressed as? Dwarf from Stardew Valley. Nice. What made you pick that? It's my favorite game. Is it your favorite game? Yes. Played all the time? Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, I have yeah. over 3,000 hours in Stardew Valley. <laughs> well, I think you deserve a walk down the runway then for that. Show it off. I think we have a lot of paper mache art, maybe. She put it together with a sign. She's working the crowd. Contestant, what's your name? Noah. Noah, and you are dressed as tonight? Dobby from My Hero Academia. Ooh, and your makeup is amazingly flawless and cool. And uh, what made you choose this costume? I mean, look at it. It's, it's, it's just so cool. You have to be cool, yeah, it's amazing. And you made it or put it together yourself? Um, Pieces, no. parts? I mean, you did your makeup and stuff? Yeah, yeah. these are made. Oh, yeah, cool. All right, let's hear it for Noah. and. I forgot the name of your character, I'm sorry. Dobby. Dobby and Dobby. appreciate you guys really getting into this. This is amazing. All right, we have, I wonder what movie these guys are from. I don't, I don't recognize this at all. <laughs> What's your names? Sean. Travis. Uh, and let me guess, uh, Ghostbusters? Close enough, close enough. Uh, what are you really? We're uh, Culpeper County Ghostbusters. There we go, the Culpeper County Ghostbusters. They're here to protect us, people. Do we have a, a huge um, marshmallow man in the background anywhere we need help from? Let's try your stuff.
Oradan gel. Diğer kademe. Alright, what's your name? Like costume name? Your real name first. Thomas Gregor Cucurini. Oh, my Cucurini. Ooh. All right, and you dressed as? Pondro Comodo. It's a what? A no skate. A dull skate? A no skate. A no skate. Yes. All right. And why'd you pick your costumes? Because this was one of the best shows I've ever seen. Best, best show we've ever seen. Why don't you walk the runway and show off your gear? Go, go, go. Beautiful green coat. What kind of animal? Do you know what kind of animal he is? Do you know what kind of animal he is? How, what would you say? What was the description of your little brother? Idiotic. Uh, <laughs> I give a kid a mic, and that's what happens. <laughs> Come here. What's your name? Naomi. And you're dressed as? My Hero Academia? Very cool. Why'd you pick that? Um, her character really inspires me. She drives to uh, help her family. Oh, your her character inspires you to help her family, and you like to be helpful? Mm -hmm. That's so great. That's why you, do you feel empowered when you're dressed like that? Yeah. Yeah. Well, why don't you feel empowered as you walk down our runway, and everyone cheers for you. Yeah! <laughs> Another one that I have to head scratcher here. Who you are? What's your names? Um, Alex, and this is. What's your name, honey? Emmy. Emmy, and you're dressed as. Darth Vader and. Leia. As Leia, please show off. Yeah. Oh, did you have? Did you make part of your costume? Did you have help? No. Did you? I made the lightsaber. Oh, nice. <laughs> that counts. Show off your wares there. Show off, little Leia. <laughs> Work the runway, Leia. Don't underestimate the little packages. <laughs> you can come together. We're represented by so many superheroes and movie heroes and movie villains. Does everyone have their favorites so far? A couple favorites? All right, now and next, can you guys come over here? What's your names? Uh, your regular name. Uh, my name is Isabella. Isabella and? Ellen. And you're dressed as? Yumichiro. Yumichiro? From, say it again. Demon Slayer. From Demon Slayer, and you're? Um, Owl House. From? The same, Demon Owl House. Owl House? House? <laughs> it's okay. It's a little, it's, it's going to be okay. You're going to be okay. Can you rock the one way? She's a little nervous. We can do it. You want me to go with you? Yeah. Don't worry, bro. Give her a round of applause. She's having, she's a little stage fright about rocking the aisles. She can do it. You can do it. There she goes. Now she's got her confidence. Thanks, crowd. What's your name? Keldon. 
Say it again. Kyungde. All right, and you're dressed as? Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh, Sonic the Hedgehog. Do you like that playing that game? Yeah, do you play it all the time? Yeah. All right, gang, Sonic the Hedgehog's heading your way. Nice job. See, you can do it. You can do it. Go, Sonic, go! Go, Sonic, go! Go, Sonic, go! <laughs> He's in character. Hi there. What's your name? Dorothy. Dorothy, and you're dressed as? Glimmer. Glimmer. Where's Glimmer from? Glimmer's from Shira and the Princesses of Power. Oh, I love it. Love it. Shira, own this. Own it. Own the Glimmer, I'm sorry, Glimmer from that show. Own your runway and show everyone off your shimmer. A kick at the end. I think she's done this before. What do you think, Rod? <laughs> high fives, high fives. <laughs> nice job. Another uh, strong female character. We like those. Hi there. How you doing? Good. What's your name? Abigail. Abigail, and you're dressed as? Songbreeze Swift Eye from Redwall. Say that again? Songbreeze Swift Eye from Redwall. What, what made you pick that? Um, she's my favorite character from Redwall, and she's really brave. Really brave. We she's like brave. brave. She's a warrior squirrel. She's a warrior squirrel. A warrior squirrel. I'm s that's just awesome. Warrior squirrel. Show off your warrior skills. <laughs> Woo, yeah, there we go. We like that. Give us another one. I'm excited to know that there's warrior squirrels in the world. Very cool. <laughs> Hi there, what's your name? Connor. Connor, and you're? Abigail. Abigail and Connor, and what are you guys dressed as? Eleven. Eleven and? The Demogorgon. Ooh, and I know where you're from. You're from Stranger Things, aren't you? Yeah, Demogorgon and, and uh, Eleven from Stranger Things. Can you guys turn around that way? There you go. Great costumes. I'm sorry. Cosplay. <laughs> Great uh, personas. There we go. regular name first. Leo. Leo and Maya. And you're dressed as? Junko and Ajima. Miku Hasane. And they're from? Mokulu. Yeah. Mokulu? Danganronpa. Wow. And what made you dress up this way? What do, what do you like about these characters? Um, I just like that she is just like kind of like out there. Like. Is her own person. <laughs> She's her own person. Yeah. I love the way she like sings, oh. and I think it's like really cool that she has like blue hair and stuff. Yeah. Perfect. Well, you guys look amazing. Why don't you show off your amazing outfits and your looks and your attitude down the runway? Good job. Fans, I'm so glad you're here. I'm so glad you're here to cheer everyone on. We got a couple of them to feel their power and feel their empowerment in dressing up. I hope you felt it too. Maybe next year we'll see some of you all here dressed up in your favorite uh, persona, your favorite attitude, your just favorite outfit. It doesn't have to be. Speaking of, um, I would very much like our judges down at the end to stand up and show off their beautiful cos uh, cosplay outfits or personalities. 
So now we're going to get together as judges and come up with who wins what prizes. We have lots of fun prizes, but I actually think that everyone that came down here uh, is a winner. Come on, let's hear it for them all. Our first annual. This is amazing. Look at how many people are here. This is so great. Did you feel the love? Did you feel the empowerment? Yes. Yeah. All right, I'm going to hand the mic back over to our uh, true master of ceremonies here. Again, thank you everybody for coming out tonight. This has been a fantastic, wonderful event. I actually had to stop counting the number of people inside the building because there are, the last count that I had was 125 and I think I just stopped clicking. So, I mean, that's 125 Culpeper County residents that are here tonight to be able to really support the Culpeper County Library and the great things that we are here to truly support. Uh, this, these whole, all of these events are here to be able to promote graphic novels, pop culture, anime, science fiction, manga, and the great things that they actually do for this type of community, whether it be through just general empowerment as our uh, mistress of ceremonies, with wherever she went, uh, and we are looking for a way to make sure that Culpeper County Library stays in your minds. So with that said, I'm going to let these wonderful panel of judges be able to discourse and have discussion of our winners. And in the meantime, uh, for any of those uh, young children that are here tonight, we have a wonderful event going on over in our youth services area. They are making uh, sun catcher Pokeballs from Pokemon. Uh, so I'm sure that uh, the librarian over there, Shannon Hicks, will be more than happy to assist you. Uh, without further ado, please uh, wait for our wonderful panel of judges, and uh, we will see you shortly. Thank you. May I have all folks that all have been here tonight that have dressed up so elegant, eloquently, so lovely, so passionately. Can I get everybody available over here? We are going to walk our runway all together. adult contestant who will be earning a $10 store credit to Sage Mantis Game Haven and Comics, Caden Rojas. I did f realize, we forgot to tell you, this is our first one going on, and we not only graded on their costume, but uh, the authenticity of it, if they made it themselves or not, and how they work the runway. So how you portray who you're dressed as is in the judging. 
So this year we're ironing out some kinks, so some patience with us. But just remember, you can dress up and, and put a mask on or put makeup on and be somebody different and own the runway and you can end up winning this just based on your, uh, your, um, your persona and how you performed, okay? Thanks. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, second place on the, or, yeah, second place on the adult side. I didn't see his last name. Hunton. Hunton. Jacob Hunton. Who's Jacob? Oh, yeah. I forgot that was your name, sir. <laughs> Very cool. You win a gift certificate to Gold Gym. How about that? <laughs> I didn't see that hand at all. I don't know what happened. <laughs> very, very cool. You're very welcome. Uh, all right. Drum roll, please. The winner of our first adult cosplay contest is Anna Lee Hunton. Thank you. Thank you. All right, and by the way, folks, the grand prize today was brought to us by our very one and only Pirate of the Caribbean from Willow Moon Healing, Michelle <laughs> Felix. <laughs> so thank you very much to all of our sponsors so far. Congratulations to you. Thank you. <laughs> she had a big gold on her. And please tell us why do these two folks win these two prizes? You guys want to say early? <laughs> So we're back again to what they put into the costume um, when I asked them what they uh, dressed up as and why that was taken into consideration. And then the, our fine judges down at the end of the runway was uh, judging them on their attitude, their strut, what did they do with their costume, how they felt empowered in it, and if they did a little act on there. So you'll see that a lot of people that won are the people that did an act, did a move, did a spin, did a bow, something like that down at the end. All right, so our next contestant will be for the teen section. We're ready? Yep. Yeah. All right. May I have an Andy Lee come up to the front, please? Congratulations, brother. All right. And this prize is brought to us again by Sage Mantis for $10 gift certificate. And for our next prize, Noah Bailey. And this prize is brought to us by Collector's Den. A $50 gift certificate to Collector's Den. And tied for first place, Abigail Churls. Did I say that wrong? <laughs> Child, sorry, I can't read or write, although I work in a library. Congratulations. Thank you. You did a great job. All right. For our kids. Okay. Apparently, we don't know her name, but she may have dressed up as Princess Leia. Here she comes. <laughs> Princess Leia. Princess Leia. Princess Leia, you've won. Congratulations, honey. Emmy. <laughs> and by the way, folks, this is Emmy. All right. Let's go stand over here. 
So the second prize for children from Sa uh, provided today by Sage Mantis Game Haven and Comics, a $20 store credit, Madeline Rojas. Great costume, honey. Thank you. Great job. Well, turn, turn around, honey, face the camera. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and tied for first place. They may have even come together. We have Sadie May and Jacob Zimmerman. <laughs> by the way, folks, this grand prize was brought to us by State Climb. There you go. All right, face the camera. All right, and we also have some honorable mentions. Will a Naomi and a Leo and a Mia please come to the stage? Is this the stage? <laughs> Are you Naomi? And which one of you is Leo? Me. You're Leo, and you are Mia. Maya. Maya. <laughs> Sorry, it's Maya. My apologies. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. And may we also get an Isabella and a Helen. All right. Which one's which? <laughs> You're Isabella. That's for you. And this is for you, madam. Oh, face the front. Face the front, ladies. Um, and I'm really sorry. We saw some costumes while we were um, having everyone parade. They, we must have just missed you when we closed the curtain. And I'm really sorry because I see in the crowd some really great costumes. And I'm, I, I'm so sad that you didn't get to run the walk of the runway. But you can still now do that if you'd like to. So if there's anybody with a costume that didn't get part of the runway tour, please come back out and let, let us see your costume. We want to, we want to, there you go. What's your name? Iris. Iris. Go ahead, Iris. Walk the runway. We got Wednesday Adams. What's your name? Danielle. Danielle. Go ahead, Danielle. What's your name? Uh, Jacqueline Sawyer. Jacqueline? What are you dressed as? Uh, Jack Sparrow from... Oh, she's Jack Sparrow. What's your name? Freakazoid. Freakazoid. We got a Freakazoid. Who's on? Can you say again? Who's on? Go ahead. Ooh. What is your character? My own creation Ooh. is Oliver the Rabbit, inspired by Classic Freddy. Oliver the Rabbit, her own creation. Uh, Ray. Ray? Go on down, Ray. Woo! Good job, Ray. Tommy in it. Tommy in it, go ahead. Rondu. All right. The Terminator. The Terminator. So everyone got to participate. Oh, one more. Ellie. Ellie, go ahead, Ellie. B? AJ. AJ, go AJ. Say again? Matthew. Matthew. Robbie. Robbie. Yeah! The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. Yeah. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. You gonna run the runway? Yeah! Turtle power. Yeah. Mal. Mal. Beautiful, love it, Mal. I'm just with my Okay, you're just with Mal. <laughs> All right, folks, before we conclude, I would like our three judges to walk the runway. Yeah. Michelle Felix, folks. Gwendolyn Steele, folks. And Jessica McFarlane. Yeah. 
One last round of applause for our illustrious judges, everybody. Oh. All right, so that does conclude our cosplay contest, our very first one for 2023. Yeah.